Becky and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're doing something a bit different, a very quick and easy tutorial based on this very quick and easy perky pony. I posted this photo over on Instagram and I got a lot of comments asking to do a tutorial specifically on how I do my ponytail. So it's quick, it's more or less me flipping my hair head upside down, gathering it, gather, oh, why can't I talk? Gathering it with an elastic and then styling it. So I'll share some tips and tricks as well as some products that help me achieve this style. You might notice I am in a bit of a different location. I really wanted to show you my couch. I finally got a couch into my new apartment. I don't know how I'm gonna film videos and intros in this apartment yet. I'm still experimenting, but it's kind of cute. I like that pillow. And anyways, let's get started with this look. So here's a look at the makeup. If you're looking for something similar, I'd suggest the Sharon Tate from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood tutorial I did. So that's linked in the info button. And here's my natural hair. So I do have quite a bit of length, but it's pretty thin when I toss it up into a pony. So I'll show you all my hacks and I really use these tips like on the daily to make it look a little cuter. So after I've brushed it out, I like to add one or two three clip wefts of extensions. These ones are from Bellamy and they are the pair I used in the Blue Lagoon tutorial. So they are more of a cool brown, which I like to mix into my hair because it's similar to my roots and then the ends of my hair are a bit brassy right now so I find it just neutralizes that. And how I clip them in is I divide a small section away and then clip them upwards so they lay flat going up into a pony and the lower on your head the more comfortable and easier these will be to hide as, as long as you've uh, sectioned apart off that will go over top. And once you have brushed over you really won't feel them, you'll forget they're even there but it does add quite a bit of volume. Of course, extensions are completely optional. This style is super cute with thin hair. If your hair is a bit shorter too, it'll look adorable when you add some curl to the ends and it's easier because it will stay that way. So pros and cons to all hair thicknesses, but I've just put all my hair upside down, combed, and then I'm tightly gathering into a high ponytail with my hands at the very top of my head. I love this position because you can see the pony from straight on and with my face shape I prefer that because mine's so round and I like to still have hair framing my face. And how I get my pony to stay perky is either I'll add a thick scrunchie and I'll do this quite tight or I use a pony o. These are marketed to use by themselves without a hair tie, but I really like to use it after I've already used a hair tie. Um, you just place it around your hair and squeeze it flat and then you bend the sides around the base of the pony and it adds height to the ponytail and makes the base a lot thicker. I find my pony also really stays and is comfortable when I use the pony out on top of the elastic and I don't really like to gather my hair into a pony just using this product. I know a lot of people love it. Um, but this is how it's worked for me. And the next tip for a cute pony is to take the end of a comb and insert it and pull upwards to get a bit more volume. And this step is great with getting those little bumps if you happen to have any going up into the pony. And I'm sorry, my scalp is really dry. You'd probably see that, but just ignore it. And another step I do for my ponytail, um, I don't always do this. It's a little bit of a time consuming step, but if I am going to take photos, then I will add in a little bit of powder to my hairline just to fill it out on the right side because it is quite a bit thinner. You can see my pale scalp a bit more. So when you're picking an eyeshadow, I like to go for deeper than I think I need. So sometimes I'll use a black or like an off black brown uh, because it will look lighter against your scalp. And also just use a tiny bit of shadow and fade it backwards into your hair. I like to remove most of the shadow from my brush so it's more subtle. You can see I did a patch just directly onto the scalp right here and it doesn't work as well. So you wanna blend out and applying too much will look kind of like a wig and very unnatural. So less is more and hopefully you can tell the difference when I just quickly added a bit of powder and you can actually leave this for a couple days if you don't wash your hair daily so it's a great step to add a thicker look and then I'm going to add some hairspray for the flyaways. Then the quickest way to finish off the pony would be to curve in the ends with a straightener. If you want to make it more 60s, you can do a flick using a curling iron just to the ends of the hair. I'm picking up section by section using the T3 curling iron and because this is an everyday look, I'm not going for perfection here, but I do like to have um, just the end styled. So I'm brushing out after I have curled upwards and I love to either wrap the base of the pony with hair 
or add a scrunchie over top of the base of the ponio, or I'll use a ribbon. So today I went with a Chanel bow and I think it looks super cute with the 60s makeup and the white turtleneck. I hope you enjoyed my tips and tricks for how I wear my go-to ponytail, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more typically pop culture videos, but if you'd like to see some of my own looks sprinkled in, then I can do that. So loud. Because they typically have a vintage vibe to them anyway, and I like to put them under my vintage vibes playlist. Also, I'm in a very filming mood, so I'm going to continue this video over on my vlog channel. I do have a second channel where I post daily, oh, pff, that's a lie, where I post whenever I go on a trip, I'll do a travel vlog, but I wanna be posting more consistently on there, so I'm gonna share a haul of some of the recent purchases that I've got from cute stuff like this bear to um, new fashion stuff, so I uh, hope you all check that out as well. And and thank you so much for tagging me over on Instagram. I love it when you guys try out a style and show it to me so I can feature you in my videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Intros and outros, but if you enjoyed, I already said that.